okay you need to know this before considering studying ultrasound in the uk the first thing is what are you going for is it for a pg set a pg diploma or straight up to the msc now all these are just levels to the postgraduate course so for the pg set that's the first level normally it's around 60 units then we have double that to get the pgd and then triple that to get the msc sometimes it's a little more a little like 20 units more to get the msc due to the final research capstone now you need to know what schools are you going for now this information would help you know what school you are you apply for because some schools offer just a pg set some school offer just the pg set and pgd while some schools offer the msc which you could start with the msc and you could, you could cut off with a PG set or the PGD. So this will help you know which school to apply for. Now, the next thing is the certification and that has accreditation and recognition of that course that you are going to apply. Now, ultrasound is very tricky in the UK. You, can, as, you cannot register with HCPC, right, as a sonographer. You only register as a radiographer, who, then you can now practice sonography. So you have your registration with, radio, with HCPC as a radiographer, not as a sonographer then you then practice sonography now to know the courses that are accredited or recognized is easy you could just check the case accredited schools right case that's c a s e i'll leave a link below so you could go check it there's it's a pdf and you see the courses the schools the levels is it pg set pgd is it msc so this will help you decide what school to go okay so the first thing is what level are you entering what level of sonography do you want to study the second is is this course certified is it recognized is it accredited is it accredited by which body okay now the third thing to know is the curriculum and the specialization like i said this pdf that I, the link is below please if you find it useful just leave me a comment and say yes yes if you found this pdf useful this pdf you will get the school you will get the courses you get the outline of the courses you get the specialization of the courses if it's most letter you're interested in you will find most letter studies if it's a venous or trust you're interested in you will find it if you're interested in obstetrics you will find it all the specific that are within the pdf i really found it so so useful now the fourth thing you need to know is the faculty and resources for example the first thing that you need to check is your clinical outline like how are you expected to practice does the faculty provide you a clinical site to scan because there's no how you are going to study a clinical course and you tell me that you, don't, you will not scan you need to scan you need to scan so is the faculty providing you a lab a hospital an NHS, an, an NHS site for you to practice or you have to do that by yourself Okay, so that's the third thing to note. That's what you need to know before you are applying to that school. The first thing is what are you applying to? Is it the PG set or PGT or an MSc? The next is no, is that course accredited and it's accredited? Is it recognized by the which body? Right? Okay, now the the fourth the, is that the third? Confused. That the third thing is now. No, that's the fourth. The fourth is now is the resources. Is this faculty providing you a clinical lab to practice your scans? Because you're not just going to learn theory and learn theory. We need to meet the machine, scan, patient positioning, how to talk to patients and things like that. You need a clinical lab and a clinical mentor. Is the school providing that for you or do you have to sort it out for yourself? Most schools give you the opportunity to sort it out for yourself and most schools will simply tell you that no, they cannot take international students for this reason right and some schools have the labs that they can take some few students so you need that is why you need to know these things that you plan when to apply and apply early so that you can be in that spot okay now the fifth thing is is more of an emphasis on the clinical placement that's the practical experience and the clinical placement now you need to discuss are you training with 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 the uh, um, people in the field already or are you training on the uh, learn that's what i mean by people in the field like are you going to nhs clinic sites to like meet real patients you're talking to real sonographers or are you in the lab working with dummies right have you ever worked with an ultrasound, ultrasound dummy before <laughs> well it's it's more like like a makeshift with real anatomical structures 
kind of like fitted to normal size so you can scan that and see where the different organs are so that is an option that's always common when you when the school is providing you a lab to work with as opposed to if you that you have been arranged a clinical site where you meet sonographers and you're talking with real patients it's a real life scanning experience so you need to know this option is this what you're going for and also what you want as a sonographer what do you think will be best for the development in your career do you want to be in the real field in the nhs side and you're talking with real sonographers and working with real patients or do you want to work in the lab or is it a mixture of two okay so this is what you need to know before you are applying for your msc or your postgraduate study on your sound in the uk now the same thing I want to emphasize, I want to talk about more that you need to know is the student support and the facilities that are available to you. Now, when you're living in a your country and you're coming to a different country, it's a lot. Sometimes you are like, oh, excited, excited, excited. But <laughs> two weeks, yes, I'm telling you, two weeks max, that your excitation will drain completely and you will face reality. This is when you will need support from your faculty you need support in terms of sometimes even transportation you don't know the system of transport here you've come to places like london or outside of london you don't know the system of transportation here you don't know how to meet up like you should search these um, 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 facilities or support on the side of the school if it's available there you see schools that have like chat with a student chat with an alumni chat with the lead those are very important indications that you will have support in that faculty okay so make sure to check these things because when you come to a new country and you don't know how to get to school you don't know how to get accommodation or maybe you're having issues with accommodation you have issues with your brp you're having some kind of issues that you need to talk to someone and you don't know who to meet now well this is very easy to note on the website on the school's website on the university website you see that there's support there is this that with the student those are really easy things that you can know that this is a good place that you can get support from right and just from you searching the school and finding out more you write the academic lead you chat with the student and see how things flow so i know that okay if i need this this is what i will need okay if i need this this is where i will go you have total information and then you also check if they have articles that you could read through they have um past um frequently asked questions that have been answered to those things are really very minute but very important that will really help you have a calm brain and avoid mental stress that you can study and give it your best get your best result and go and excel in your profession because this school is expensive you don't want to come here and then have mental breakdown on top of your, your money that you spent <laughs> okay so the next thing that i want to discuss is the cost you need to know your cost like i said these things are expensive these things are expensive now i think the cheapest i've seen is eleven thousand pounds right it's eleven thousand pounds eleven thousand pounds that's within london within england i think i think i saw a nine thousand but i think it was a pg set right so always check the funding that's the first thing you should have a list of things you should know the level like that is entry you have a table that you have drawn out the level the the the, the cost when it's starting when you should apply all these things you should know because the funding will help you decide where to go to you don't want to go and apply for a mission and then you get the admission and then you cannot fund the studies it doesn't make sense you have wasted all this time so know the funding cost, the fees cost before you are going. And also check to the one thing I don't know to know to check the alumni. Are they big on alumni? Do they have alumni support? Like when you're done with this course, can you meet somebody who has already passed through the system and they got a job somewhere and they can link you up because networking is very important. You like you always you can go to school and study and study. And what do you do after I take your studies to your house? No, you have to go out there and meet people. But now with the alumni. It's, it's very important that you get a network of people who have done this and who are already out in the world experiencing life and getting jobs because that, that's what you need <laughs> why else you going to study so much if you're not going out there to make it work for you even if you are going to you want to open your own ultrasound business or you're going to work for someone you need this information you need a network of people who have already experienced that and live that in, and, and let the life that you want to go and live so that you don't have to go and start from square one you can start off of their own experience and now flourish and do better. And so I think that is it. I think I've shared nine points with you that you should consider before 
book pursuing the studies of ultrasound in the UK. All right. So if you find this inform inform informative and useful, please like this video, subscribe and share. Somebody else might find it info uh, informative. Now, if you have any particular subtopic here, any particular point that you want me to emphasize on or make a video just about that, just leave it in the comment section and I'll come back to it. Okay. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.